All right. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night, wherever you're from. Uh, welcome back to part four of this uh, Wyvern uh, trap build. And as you can see, I've made some changes. Before that, I would like to give a thanks to uh, my new subscribers. Thanks so much for coming to check out my videos. Um, thanks for your patience, too. I'm working out the technical... Oh, there we go, uh, Arjun Wakeful. Uh, we're working out the technical de details as we go. Um, oh, that bird is very loud. Okay, I'm gonna land him. You know, light, uh, volume, vocals, audio. Still need some working out, so thanks for bearing with me. They'll improve as time goes on. And uh, shout out to my buddy Cub from Ontario. Thanks for uh, thanks for your comments on the feed, and thanks to all the other. Uh, guys and girls, girls who have uh, sent me likes. So back to the episode, part one, two and three, we um, gr did the grinding for the building and uh, testing for the trap. As you know, if you've watched the last episode, you know that uh, there's some problems with the trap. It didn't really work. So now you can see there that I've made some changes to the trap. Uh, I did it off camera because uh, I wasn't sure how many iterations it was going to take. Uh, fortunately, the first uh, iteration that I tried out worked. So I don't know if you remember, as the Argent was charging into the trap, the dragons quite often uh, flanked to the outside, and that's how they missed the trap. By putting these, uh, what do you call them, flanges or um, filters on the sides and top and bottom, it uh, successfully it helped me to you know trap the wyverns and it's it had a much higher success rate after that. So I did some more testing, rather than drag you through all the testing. And um, I was able to capture up to three or four at one time. Um, you know, because after grabbing the egg, they all chase after you. Uh, I was able to get them in there and lock them down. Uh, I was also able to knock out a wyvern. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, <laughs> so I was able to knock out the wyvern. And that didn't take too long because uh, the torpor isn't too high, and I was able to take its milk. And uh, just as part of the testing too, I was able to raise a weaver and using a deodon and uh, the weaver and milk. Uh, but rather, um, show that on camera. Let's try to do it firsthand on the feed. All right, so let's uh, do a run through again. The wyvern or wyverns come in here. If the right side of the door opens properly, oh, there it goes. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, just like before, the wyvern goes in here. This time it's less likely to get trapped outside. Up and over. And uh, it can't get out of here. So I come out here and quickly shut the door, just in case they find out a way, uh, find out the way through the bottom. Um, some other additions. Oh, I uh, want to put in some hatch frames up here, so that I can shoot down into the river in case it's further down. So, how about I do that first? Put in the hatch frames. Although I'll go and get my stone first. All right, and roll. All right, here we go. I got some hatch frames up here. I'm just gonna dot them, dot them down anywhere here or whatever. It's, it doesn't really matter where you put them. It almost gives you some uh, extra angles to fire from. So, weighting myself down with the uh, materials here. Let's get rid of that. How many more? Two more? And we know it's just in case. I need them here too. Alright, so more explicitly, my goal for today is to uh, trap a regular female wyvern uh, up in here. 
and uh, later I want to try to uh, do an alpha wyvern. Now uh, there, I saw two alpha wyverns over there. Uh, one of them was 180. Uh, I would really like to try that out, but I'm not sure whether that would end in disaster. Part of the problem is if you trap a wyvern, it's all well and good, but you kind of got the tiger by the tail because um, if you can't knock it out or kill it, what happens is uh, you could try to escape, right? And as you're escaping to the render range of the game, to the edge of the screen where the where the buildings disappear, then uh, it will be able to get out of the building, and it, if it's still the aggro, and it will chase you all the way there. So if, if you try to get away in a hurry with a with an injured bird, it's going to catch up to you because it can fly faster than you. And of course, being a wild, uh, you know, non-ridden creature, it's going to have as much stam stamina as it needs to get you. So I'm not sure what I'll be getting into by uh, attacking the 180 Weaver, but uh, I think it's uh, worth it for the video's sake. Uh, here I have two birds, my uh, high-level Argent Wakeful. It has uh, stats of 11,000. Um, I hope that that will be enough for it to, you know, outrun a Wyvern and get that Wyvern into a trap, um, especially the Alpha. And I also tamed up a Argent Scouser here. I just I just tamed it up before the show. Uh, I thought it would be good as a test run on the Alpha, but looking at his stats, it's like half the amount of health. And uh, about a third the amount of the stamina. It might not be a good idea. So let's put this guy away. We'll go. Let's go. All your stuff drops when you put uh, your creature into a cryopod, except for the saddle. So it'll drop on the floor if you uh, cryopod your creature. Alright. Well, let's just get started because I'm pretty confident with the uh, regular wyverns. Here's the chasm. Let's see if I can switch to aggro arrows, uh, regular arrows. I've cleared out some of the areas of wyverns, so I don't know whether some of them spawn back or not. As you can see, it's a bit safer than before. Ooh, it's rather hot in here, isn't it? There's an arthur pleura. So one over here just now. Let's have a look. One is okay. I wish we could zoom in and out with this. That would be uh, a lot more productive. Oh, I seem to have lost that wyvern. Where do you go? Do you guys see? <laughs> There's a male one of five. I've killed up to level 180 on the normal strain of wyvern. As you, you remember in the last video there was one... Oh dear. Is that hot? Oh god. Skip a lobby. Let's check to see if there's any uh, eggs around here because I can actually... If you can take the damage then you can you can uh, get a lot of them in a hurry without... Uh, you might want to see what kind of wyvern that you have over here. Ah, there we go. A wild female lightning wyvern, 25 uh, wyverns. The lightning versions of the wyvern proved to be the most dangerous because they inflict equip torpor damage. But should be able to take it for now. I don't know which one of these I'm going to aggro, so I think I'll just take whatever I can get. Pressing the wrong buttons. Let's 
go up here and get a better vantage. Um, I'm getting further away from my base because I've cleared out the nearby ones. Gotta be careful here, there's sometimes creatures in the crags. Yeah. Got some unstable footing. There's one, or two. Let's get going. Oh, yeah. Didn't find much in the way that I could get away from their blast. Like I can't stray for anything to get away from it. Oh, there's my base. You can see it over the rise. Four per level, about 25%. Health, about 25% down. All right. I'm hoping the first one goes for it. Oh yeah. I don't know if I got her. Nope. <sighs> well then. Let's get some health regeneration going. Just keep that health regeneration timer going. You're gonna be golden. Let's check out my heat stroke. Yeah, that seems to be fun. Fire mail. I don't want to chase him all the way. Have him chase me all the way back to base just to find out it was a waste of time. Right. That was my head. 7,000. Hopefully it's going down a bit. Oh, I don't know what this is. Take it back to base, let's find out. Oh yeah. Oh, do I have two of them? Oh yeah. This is the chances of getting them. Poison Wyvern so far seem to be the least dangerous. Their attacks are less accurate it seems. It looks like they're damaging each other, I don't know. Oh, my stamina's taking a hit though, isn't it? Alright. Okay. I was taking the damage. Huh. Not see that coming.
Whoa. I guess I can't get hit by this guy. I'm scared. Ugh. But I'm still taking you in, you bastard. And if I can't take you in, I'm gonna take you out. Yes. Come in here. If you're a female, then we're we're ahead. Woo! That's your prison. Ha! I don't want to look at it. I don't want to see it. Looks like I left my uh, gear in the on the guy. It's kind of like Star Trek, you know. You get beamed from one place to another. This is your original person. How's your health doing there, buddy? Yeah. Oh. All right. Even an oil bug when you're desperate. Yeah. What about this guy? Well, let's see. Let's see how my luck is. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a female. Oh, a female 160. Wow. Now, in my experience, the Wyvern can launch attacks above the uh, stone uh, walls here, uh, but it, they won't. They don't seem to hit. Let's, let's test that out. It will do it through the side, but not on the top. But let me check. Um, not really aggroed right now. So due to the clipping, I found that perhaps on top is the best place to knock out the wyvern. Okay. A bit hard to get him. So you can hit him above the stone, but he doesn't seem to be. Uh, she doesn't seem to be able to get you. Up. Now, as you're tranking your. Oh no, that. That definitely hit me. Okay. Okay, okay. Sometimes you don't get hit. Alright, this makes things a bit trickier, doesn't it? came with about 200 narc arrows and then about 262 backup narc. Is it on flea? Hard to tell right now. Okay, she's out. Don't waste time. You're, it's easier to kill when it's down, right? Look at this tar part. The only thing I've seen faster than this is a Giga. Luckily it's a high level, so the tar part's going down a bit slower. You don't seem to be able to tame these guys. Um, so there's no point keeping them asleep. Oh, wrong button again. Alright. Great flavor. 
in your inventory, this milk will not last long. In the bird, it will last, instead of an hour, it will last about three and a half to four hours. Thinking about the alpha wyvern, but uh, I don't think that this bird is a high enough level. Probably need about 250 or something to really make it easy. Oh look, I took out my ladder. I mean, have food. Vultures were my first Scorched Earth chain, which I actually got from uh, Ragnarok, and I used them to clear, you can, you can clear about half of the island bases with vultures, and it really makes it a lot easier. Let's just go see if there's a low level Alpha Wyvern out there. I don't want to mess with the big boys yet, not with this little, little big chicken. Out here you're actually in a good position to uh, get organic polymer. So you can see some of my stuff has got some heavy damage. I need hide, hide and fiber, but organic polymer you just get off the mantis. That's a party down there, isn't it? Good news, my torpor has gone down. Ah, there's an alpha right in there, you see that? That is what I'm talking about. A 15. And I'm surrounded by lots of beauties here. I'm gonna have to draw them out one by one, I think. is an egg. I don't see any eggs around here. Wait a minute. That would be fun until like seven white rings chase me down. Have me for breakfast? Well, I got a lot of debuffs going on, so let's go for a break. Alright, that took a long time. Let's get back out there. Well, there's three of them over there. Let's see if, uh... Let's move this here. Get the right button up there. Okay, here we go, full speed. Move your pass. Fifteen percent health at fifty percent. Come on, birdie, let's go. I think it's the bite that hurts me, you know. I don't think it's the fire breath or the uh, lightning breath. Go for it. Thirty percent. Thirty-five. Get away from that. Wow, this thing is fast. I don't know how many I've got with me now, at least two. Oh shoot. This is not good. Ooh. My goodness, that was close. Let's give it more health. What did 
did I get myself into? Okay. Move your heart. Okay, moment of truth. Move you your heart. Based on that, I definitely will be taking on an alpha. I already know what the results will be. Okay. That's some more healthy generation, don't I? Well, that's about as much punishment as I can take for now. It's going to take a while to get all our health values back up. Took more damage than last time. I'm not sure whether I'm using the same Argentavis or not, or if uh, I'm just not doing as well today, but I got damage a lot faster. Let's go back to base, put the milk in the fridge, and we could uh, tame up a wyvern. Anyway, you get to see the point. Even with a very high level bird, those wyverns could pack a punch, especially the um, lightning wyverns, and especially when they get over, you know, 150 to 80 like that. And uh, without clearing out those wyverns around the alpha level 15, I'm not gonna go take it on yet. I could probably take it on one-on-one, -on -one, but if the wyvern was accompanied by if the alpha was accompanied by four regular ones, that'd probably be taken out with only, uh, was it 12,000 health? 